Hello, welcome to the lesson on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is a short-range wireless communication technology. Most of us think we know what Wi-Fi is and we often equate Wi-Fi with internet or being connected. Thus because Wi-Fi in many ways has liberated the internet. There is no more searching for wires. All you need is a password so that you can connect your mobile phone or a device to the internet. Yes, you are good to go. What is Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi is an alternative network to wired network which is commonly used for connecting devices in wireless mode. Wi-Fi is standard for wireless fidelity is generic term that refers to IEEE 802.11 standard for wireless local networks or WLANs. Wi-Fi connects computers to each other, to the internet and to the wired network. Wi-Fi uses radio technology to transmit and receive data at high speed. So you can transmit uh, in Mbps or the wireless network. It is possible with Wi-Fi. Then so how Wi-Fi works? Then how Wi-Fi works? So we will learn how Wi-Fi works here. Any Wi-Fi enabled device usually connects to a actual uh, central router or a hub. And through the router or hub, we make contact with other similarly linked IoT devices or wireless devices. Your laptop, for example, hooks up to a router that is linked to a wireless internet speaker. When you play music, the laptop transmits the signals from itself through the router to the internet speaker. Here laptop and internet speaker are Wi-Fi clients. The router acts as a hub that sets up a local area network and manages all of the devices and communication between them. Wireless client is a user device that has Wi-Fi capability. So examples of Wi-Fi uh, clients, tablets, smartphones, laptops, barcode scanners, medical equipment, security systems and so on. So these Wi-Fi clients also may be called uh, or referred as a station in 802.11 standard and in other textbooks also we can see that. Wi-Fi operates in free band. What is free band? Most commercial wireless devices such as mobile phones, televisions, radios and etc. use licensed radio frequencies. They have to pay fee to use that particular frequency band. Large organizations pay licensing fee for the right to use those radio frequencies. But Wi-Fi uses unlicensed spectrum. So unlicensed spectrum means uh, no need to pay the fee. So license fees are not usually required to operate Wi-Fi equipment. The industrial, scientific and medical band, so generally we call it as a ISM band, allow for unlicensed use of 2.4 to 2.5 GHz, 5.8 GHz and many other frequencies. So these are license free frequencies. So we can use those frequency bands in order to send data over the wireless network. So now we are going to learn what are the various wireless protocols in 802.11 family. The 802.11 IEEE family of radio protocols are commonly referred to as Wi-Fi. So here 802.11a supports up to 54 Mbps using the frequency 5 GHz unlicensed bands. 802.11b supports up to 11 Mbps using the 2.4 GHz unlicensed band. Right? So you were able to understand this, right? So 802.11g supports up to 54 Mbps using the 2.4 GHz unlicensed band. Then you will see uh, N, 802.11N, supports up to 600 Mbps using the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz unlicensed band. Okay, so now you have seen the variations from A to N, so yes, we can reach the more speeds. Okay, now it is possible 
with 802.11n right these are very good uh, you know pretty much good frequencies although wi-fi is wonderful it is a kind of manual connection right so how you connect your you know uh, uh, mobile phone to the hub you need a password right so you have to manually connect so you have to specify uh, you know uh, to which router you want to connect by using ssid and password right wi-fi name and password first you have to uh, make this setup and although that may not seem like that much work right now think about the millions of connections we would have to install in order to ensure that every single device we owned was incorporated into a network so in such case yeah connecting all the devices individually maybe practically are not good right it's pretty impractical right yes or no uh, because you have you know uh, thousands of devices and uh, you have to configure each device to connect to your network then yes it takes time and it uh, you know generally not looks uh, that much practical but simplicity of wi-fi its user friendliness and ubiquity sets the connectivity standard for future devices and effort to embed them in the iot right so most of the iot devices today uh, are embedded with uh, Wi-Fi chips. So Wi-Fi technology is used to connect IoT devices to the internet. We can control home appliances such as light bulbs, AC or fan using smartphone application or even you can monitor uh, room temperature and humidity remotely from anywhere in the world. By sitting in, uh, in somewhere in uh, America you can actually uh, check uh, your room temperature humidity uh, you know of your uh, home present in India. It is possible all of you. So, and then uh, there is an advancement in uh, to the Wi-Fi. So that is WiMAX. What is my WiMAX? Today, WiMAX or the worldwide interoperability for microwave access is a family of wireless communication standards that can provide a staggering, a large 1 GB per second data rate for fixed stations. See how much? 1 GB per second. Because of relatively low cost, it is now a worthy competitor to many other networks in providing last mile broadband internet access in far flung areas. So this is the uh, last mile uh, connectivity all of you. It's a very helpful for last mile connectivity and we can use this WiMAX for internet of things.